Aloha everyone, what is really good my dudes? Welcome to another RuneScape news coverage video. For this video we're going to be talking about some changes coming to Treasure Hunter next week. So without any further ado, let's jump right into the video, let's go. Alright guys, to get started next Monday, Jagex is looking to deliver three key improvements to the Treasure Hunter experience. First, they want to focus on augments and simplify the user experience for prize choices. Then they want to address some balancing and in-game economy issues with certain items such as Silverhawk Feathers, and finally improve the augment store experience in general. The augment store has become an increasingly important part of Treasure Hunter, with the ability to turn unwanted prizes into a flexible currency that you can spend on past Yak Track cosmetics or consumables like lamps or stars. With this update, the plan is to improve the overall experience from updating the UI to removing limited daily sales while reducing oddments prices. Another way they'll achieve this is by removing the conflicting layers of the oddments store and the multi-prize selection. So after this update, all the focus will be on oddments as the prize opt-out for players who don't want their initial prize. This will then give the opportunity to address some balancing issues caused by the conflicting systems, especially Especially the most affected items like Silverhawk Feathers, Proteans, and Springs. So taking a look at all the changes to come, for the Oddment Store, we have several content improvements. They're adding the Legacy Pets, the Water and Fire Lichen, for 50k Oddments each. Remove the randomized sales from Treasure Hunter Keys, the Medium Prismatic Lamps, and Stars, but slightly lowered their prices. They're doubling the daily purchase cap for Treasure Hunter Keys, Medium Prismatic Lamps and Stars, Small Protean Packs, Cinder Cores, and Pulse course in the Oddman store, and they're consolidating various items in the store into packs. As for UX improvements, they're adding more details to the consumable items preview descriptions in the store, added a new banner for items that have just been added to the store, which will exist for 14 days, added banners to every item with a daily purchase cap, which will display the number of purchases remaining for that day. The store will now use the preview screen of the spotlight tab, and has been been updated to show more visual previews of outfits, pets, and animations. The item cards will now show the price with separators at a cost of 1,000 augments or above, increase the size of the item card icons, replaced any low resolution item card icons with high resolution ones, stop the scroll position in the augment store from resetting when clicking on an item card, standardize the item names and descriptions, as well as purchase messages, updated the order of the item cards in the augment store so that filling columns will now prioritize over filling rows, and stopped item titles from spilling out of their text area by truncating the names and adding an ellipsis for those over a certain length. They're also adding a plus button to the Oddman store count in the header of the marketplace which will open up Treasure Hunter, and rename the rewards tab in the Oddman store to consumables. As for changes to Treasure Hunter itself, the multiple choice Treasure Hunter prize selection screen will be removed. Oddment prizes have been removed from the Treasure Hunter draw table. The number of portable items received from portable packs has been reduced. Any unopened portable packs required before April 25th will not be impacted. The convert confirm functionality has been changed and will no longer ask for confirmation on white and yellow tier prizes, but will for higher tiers. Improve the auto redeem messaging to remove spam. Spring Cleaner will now be available on the loot table again if players do not already already own it. Players can no longer gain lucky items as a super rare reward from chests. Combat dummies no longer appear in red or purple tier chests. Spirit gems can now be noted, and Protean packs have been replaced with Protean specific items. And that is the new changes that will come to Treasure Hunter and the Oddman Store next game update on Monday the 25th. With that, I'm going to wrap up the video. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you're not subscribed and you want to stay up to date on all things RuneScape related, hit that subscribe button. Anyways, I appreciate you watching. I am out. Aloha. Yeah. Uh -huh.